In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create hypothesis-enabled readings with small groups in Moodle. I'm in my Moodle course right now, and as usual, I'm in edit mode so that I can create my groups and then create my hypothesis-enabled readings for those small groups. The first thing I'll want to do is set up my group and groupings. I can do this by clicking on the Participants tab in the course and then clicking on Enrolled Users. From here, I'll click on the Groups option, and I'll scroll down, and you can choose whether you want to manually create the groups or have Moodle auto-enroll students into groups. In this circumstance, I'll have Moodle choose the groups for me, so I'll click Auto-Create Groups, and then I will base my naming scheme for my groups here. So if you hover over this question icon, it will tell you how it would like your groups to be structured. So you can see it wants you to include a at symbol or a hashtag in order, in order to indicate which group naming conventions will be used. So I'll type in my group name here with the naming convention I'd like. And you can have Moodle auto create the number of groups or choose the number of students you would like in each group. So you can select which one you'd prefer here. I'm going to have Moodle create two groups for me. And then I can indicate who I want to be enrolled in the groups and how I'd like the members to be allocated. The final piece is to create a grouping for these groups. A grouping is basically a group of groups. And it's important to make sure this is created because when you go to create your hypothesis enabled reading, you'll actually select a grouping to be used and an annotation space will be created for each of the groups within the grouping. So I have expanded my grouping area here and I can input that I want a new grouping and put in my grouping name. From this point, I can click submit and I will have created both my annotation groups and the grouping that they are contained within. Now that the groups are created, I can return to my course to create my hypothesis-enabled reading. I'll scroll down to the module in which I'd like to add the hypothesis-enabled reading, and then click the Add Activity or Resource button. Then I will find hypothesis in my list of activities and resources. And your process here could be a little bit different depending on whether or not your institution is using deep linking. So if this page does not look quite the same here, you might want to review our video on creating annotation assignments without deep linking. But there will be similarities to the process here. So at this point, I'll click select content. And from here, I can select where I'd like to grab my hypothesis enabled reading. In this case, I'm going to use a file I've loaded into my Moodle course. I can type in the name of the assignment. And here I'll want to select that this is a group assignment. And when you get to the screen, whether you're using the deep linking process or not, you'll see this option. Leaving this blank will mean that everyone in the class can see each other's annotations. Selecting that this is a group assignment will allow you to choose a grouping and it will create annotation spaces for each of the groups within that grouping. So here I'm going to select those annotation groups I just created and click continue. I can create any other assignment settings I would like to here and then I can save and return to my course. Now, once I have created the hypothesis enabled reading and open that, you'll see that at the top of the annotation sidebar, for you as the instructor, you can now use this as a drop down menu to navigate between each group that's annotating. The students within the groups won't have this navigation feature, they'll only see the group to which they've been added. But again, you as the instructor can navigate between groups and add unique annotations to each of those groups. So if I were to add an annotation to group one here and post this to annotation group one, when I navigate to annotation group two, it won't be visible there. That's the basics of how you can set up hypothesis enabled readings using small groups in Moodle.